Uh, hello, says Zero Freak, JBDK, BCS, MZ Leslie, Mr. Nightmare. Hello, Ash, 2700, says Zero, Kickyman, Digital Dumber. Hope you guys have a great one. But, oh, you know what? I didn't open up my my streamer windows, my streamer tabs, my alerts and stuff. I don't have that open. Let me open these things. Bum, bum, bum. All right, we're all set. So Wildebar coming in with the 55 month resub. Welcome back, Wildebar. Thank you so much for the 55 months. So Zero, thank you for gifting a sub to Armored Solid. And MC Leslie redeemed a gift sub. So thank you, MC De Leslie, so for that. Zero Eleven gifted a tier one sub to the Teach Main. They have given 176 gift subs in the channel. So Zero, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Just being silly. No, you're being silly. No, you. There's no silly being in this channel. It's all ser super serial in here. Uh, so we were working on upgrading our coal production power thing stuff. I don't remember like at what point we left off. I know we placed a whole bunch of those machines over there and then I came back here for something. I don't remember why. Does anybody remember why? I certainly don't. Inventory seems to be stocked full of a lot of things. Maybe we should grab some more concrete and iron plates while we're here. I don't know if that's what we came back for, but maybe we should stock up on this. If no, just admit you are a bit silly, no. Never. I am 100% serious all the time. Never silly. 100% of the time. I'm never sarcastic either. Those of you who claim that I'm sarcastic are rude. <laughs> Blazons! Blazons just resubscribed for seven months. Welcome back, dude. Thank you so much for the seven month resub. I trade making elevator belts and needed material. I don't remember. We're gonna look. Did I run out of the um, the plates? I have those in my inventory. What was that? Wait, did I just open up a console? Oh, I did. There is a console. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of these reinforced iron plates in my inventory. I can't imagine. This bird is back. Stop it. Right now. That's weird. <laughs> what are we gonna make? Guys, I am completely lost right now. Somebody point me in a direction. We're all sassy down here. that way oh thanks thanks you tried making elevator belts and needed material elevator belts yeah we are upgrading our original coal production over here which we are just about tapped out on on uh power we're gonna remove this and replace it with this over here We started building all this yesterday. Water extractors? 
Holy crap, you missed a lot after you left yesterday? Oh my goodness, imagine leaving. Says 011 gifted a tier 1 sub to the deferred. They have given 177 gift subs in the channel. I think we're just going to do this. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. One, two. Th ah! Wrong. I didn't three. That was just a one, two. I guess I could tell by looking at the tooltip when it reaches eight. I don't actually have to count it. The first eight, because we can go eight here, and then if I go up one more, it's still using eight, but the first one of the eight. Thank you, as counting along with you. There we go. This is a lot of these guys. Um. So we had decided. I guess I can look at this one. These are doing 120 coal per minute. Um, is this a Mark II miner? Is there a way to tell what this is? Apparently, building miner Mark II. Okay. So 120 per minute. Let's do this. Divide by 15 is eight. So we're going to break these up into batches of eight, I guess. Is there no way up from here? No, I guess it's this platform. Why are there so many birds spawning on my platform? Get out of here, birds. The heck? The splitters. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that way. So belt, we need to mark two belts. Nope. Nice try, but nope. Okay, so there's one set of eight. One, whoop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, mark two belts. Oh, I did not put one here. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Counting with Hypno is my favorite segments of the stream. It better be your favorite segment or else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Eight. I think... I think we should probably get rid of this one for now. So we have three segments of eight. So we have 24 of these things here. Uh, mark two. Okay, I think we are set. Is this game will have like a story? Uh, there'll probably be some lore in the game. I'm not sure if it's gonna have like, I don't know if it's gonna be like a story driven game. All right, how are we doing this stuff? We are doing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. Is it possible to have more of these generators or these water extractors pumping into a pipe and like feed more than just six of these? Or is that a limitation of these pipes? I'm not actually entirely sure how this all works. a pipe limitation okay so let's get this figured out the maximum that we can go off one pipe how much does this do this is doing a flow rate of 300 meters cubed per minute and this uses 45 they have given 178 gift subs in the channel why would they do this why would they make it so you can only power six and a third? Why would they do such things as this? Mr. Underscore Nightmare Underscore gifted a tier one sub to Gamma King 53. They have given 200 gift subs in the channel. So Zero, thank you for gifting a sub. Very appreciated. And Mr. Nightmare, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you guys. Because they want you to 19. What happens if we do 600? So 900. We would need three pipes. Three pipes will do 20. So the ultimate question that I have, guys. The ultimate question. How do we make this work? That's the ultimate question. Oh, we can overclock these. So would it make sense to do two pumps per pipe? Have one overclock to do 200? meters cubed per minute and one underclocked to do 100 so you get 300 or i guess you'd overclock both of them i guess to 150 but then you'd have to use two shards i feel like two per pipe says zero eleven gifted a tier one sub to transit underscore biker they have given 179 gift hmm. subs in the channel So Zero, thank you so much for gifting another sub. Or is there a better way to break this up? So this is doing 120 meters cubed per minute. Or 
120 divided by 45. 30, 40. If we get 180 out of one of these, we can do four. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I feel like just overclocking one to 200 and then underclocking another one to 100. Or we can overclock one so it does like 160 and then leave the other one at 120, right? Or overclock one to 180 and leave the other one at 120. That way we get 300 out of it. A pump plus tank sounds good. Is all this math based on 20 generators because you have 24? No. My, what I'm trying to do is figure out like the best way to fill up one of these pipes to their maximum capacity of 300 meters cubed per minute, right? So we need to get these pipes filled up. Currently, I think we have three, we have like two and a half pumps connected which is weird we don't want to do that we want to we're going to redo the water situation so it's only going to be two pumps per pipe and then we need to figure out like what's the best way to configure that because by default we'll have 240 so we need to increase one of these a little bit so one shard we overclock so it's 180 and then the other one could be 120, and then we have a full 300 per pipe. So say we have 300. Let's do this again. 300 divided by 45. So that gives us 6. A little over 6. Maybe we don't want 300 then. Maybe we want to have an even 6. What's 45 times 6? We want 270 then. One twenty plus one twenty plus thirty. So we just need to overclock one of these at one fifty. And then we can have six even per pipe. Is that what we want to do? I guess that's what we want to do. Okay. So we need to go get ourselves some overclocking shards. You usually build one extra water pump and let water be overproduced. Uh, so we have six per pipe. We currently have 24, right? So 24 divided by six. So we need four sets of pipes. So we're going to need eight pumps, which means four overclocking shards is all we're going to need. So not a, not a crazy amount, actually. And that's just for what we have set up right now. We might, we'll probably expand this to like utilize all of the coal nodes, but for right now, so we just need four of these. And then we need the water pumps, which I don't think we have enough stuff for all that. So the coal generators, I think we can get rid of that list. Uh, production. Let's get that off the list since we have like basically all the coal generators that we have over there. Uh, so we need some more reinforce. Wait, what did I just get? I thought I took that off the list. What did I just do? Edit to do list. Remove. Can I just delete this? Clear list. Uh, so. We needed eight water pumps, I think, in total, right? Water extractors. I know we have some over there, but we have all the stuff to make eight more, so that's fine. Okay. I think we're good. And clear that list, too. Whoop. Edit to-do list. Clear. 
All right, so we have our overclocker shards. We should be good. You'd also build one extra pump and split it with limiters to 430 outputs. I don't think we have a way to do that yet. I think the next thing that we need to do is start breaking up the generators into six sections for the water. Get the water pipe situation figured out at the generators. And then we can start laying down the pumps and all that kind of stuff too. Yeah, let's do that first. And the water. I think we'll run it down the center of this and then we'll junction off into these. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so we need. Logistics. This doesn't junction cross. This just wants a randomly placed in the world. That's weird. I need a pipeline support. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to be all the way down here. Is that right? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. No, nope, this actually needs to go further. Oh, we can't go further. Unfortunate. Well, you know what? We'll just bring this all the way down. Because regardless of how we break these up, this still needs to be here so we can place the junction pipes. Okay. Is that coffee that I'm carrying there? Yep. Coffee in a spill-proof mug. All right, so now we need our junction pipes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa. Well, Kitty did want to say hi, and then he's like, nope, never mind, just kidding. Now you want me to pick you up? Oh! How you doing, Feed the Chunk, by the way? You been working on turbo fuel plant that'll use up a full 600 oil node? So you've been doing a lot of liquid maths? <laughs> yeah, maths. How you doing, Kurtz? Says zero. Hey, thanks so much for so the zero, 1, 11, cheered one thousand. Max, my love, hype, heart, hype, heart. Lolo, hey, thanks for the five hundred. Lola cheered five hundred. Hi, Hypno and Max, made it to the stream just in time. You did make it to the stream on time. MC Leslie, thank you for the two hundred.
Kitty needs all the attention right now. All of it. Every last attention. Also, coal power fun times. That's right. Yep. Uh, we set up our first coal power, and then now we're expanding it since we have unlocked the fourth node over here. And we've unlocked tier two miner since we set that up. So, yeah, we're going to be producing a lot more coal power than we had originally. He's worked very hard at being the boss and sleeping. That's right. He's a hard working boss. What are you doing? You love his little face, so do I. He's a handsome guy. He looks extra floofy today. He's been working on it. He's been working out. Make sure his floof is extra floofy. Whoa. Look over here. He will not look over here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there he goes. <laughs> Okay. A fingernail stream kisses right back. You had four pure coal nodes right next to each other. You put fully overclocked tier two miners on them and didn't have to worry about power again. We has been sniffed. That happens. Oh, uh, one second. I need to lint roll. That's a two lint ruler kind of job. All right, now we can actually get back to some gameplay here. All right, yeah, let's just keep placing these things. Then we can break it up once we get these placed. No. Go. Players in the way, you're in the way. Now what? I can't tell if I'm placing this on the pipe or if I'm placing this like on the ground through the pipe. Like is it clipping on the pipe or is it actually on the pipe? See that's like moving with me. 
But when I look down, it's like not really. Mo I don't know. I'm assuming this is happening right. We're gonna be removing all this pipe anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Just kind of want it even in the spot. So yeah, it looks like it was kind of breaking the pipe up, so I was placing it correctly. Which map is that? Doesn't this game only have one map? Yeah, different starting areas, but it's only one map, right? Would be cool to get another map later on. Well, I think they need to like finish up like all the stuff they're working on on this one before they start a new one. Like they still have all the alien artifact work in progress things they've never done anything with for one thing. Alright, so that is three. No. Nice try, though. Four. Five. Six. That's what we were breaking this up into, right? With six? What's. Bringing these up into sixes. That's just an indicator to show me where the break point is. That's two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as far as getting water over to these things, I don't. Can I stop placing that? Thank you. 
As far as getting water over to these things, I don't know how we're going to do that just yet. Like, can I just bring it all up from underneath? That might be the best way. Just have the pipes come under here and then just go straight up or something. Maybe connect to the bottom of those junction pipes. Although I don't think you can do that. Yeah, we could just have them like come straight up and then connect over this way. I don't know, like, can you actually do that? Yeah, it'll let me do that. So we could do something like that and just fill that in. Obviously, we wouldn't have it on this side. It'd be over on this side, but I'm just kind of playing around with this. Yeah, I think we should do that. So let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. I'm going to use this pipe. Is there not, there's not a good way to see it, like, if that's not, yeah, it wanted something like that, right? Something like that. I, I know I'm going to need a, I need a pump regardless. Regardless if I have a slight slope or if I have a big slope like that, in order to get the water up here from the water down there, I need to pump it up. We're going to pump you up. Oh, that is way wrong. Can I place one, like, kind of... That's better. So I have the connection over there, but our water's over here. I think I've been doing this wrong. Really, we should have these connectors on this side so they're closer. That seems pretty okay. And then... So I guess if I get to the point where it's kind of like spinning around, I know it's not like way off center, right? And then I can just kind of bring it out a little bit.
Azuma raided my stream with 726 viewers. Yo, Azuma, thanks so much for the raid, my dude. Welcome, everybody, from Azuma's stream. Guys, we are playing some Satisfactory. I know, this is not Minecraft. Weird. But yeah, we're playing a little Satisfactory here. We are setting up some bigger coal generation. So we can get more power. Ah, the beautiful sounds of Satisfactory. That's right. That is right. Unlimited power. No, we'll actually have a limitation on the power that we're generating. I wish it was unlimited, but un sadly it won't be unlimited. Ooh. That actually... Oh, that's going to... Hmm. What do we got going on here? Yeah. So we could bring it down here, I suppose. That might look a little weird compared to the other ones, but it'll work. Oh my goodness. Now I'm down here. Now I'm down here. That'll look weird compared to the other ones because this is at more of an angle. I think we can make that work though. Oh, the game is literally called Satisfactory. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so currently we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 10, 11. We have 11 coal generators all producing power. Each one of these is producing 75 megawatts. We're upgrading this to 24 of them with plenty of room for expansion later. But uh, what we're doing right now is we're leaving this running. We're going to hook up everything to get the other things set up and then connect the fuel over. So yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of work to be done over here and not much to see at the moment other than just setting up all the logistics for this to get going. Satisfactory is very satisfying. I agree. It is. Um. So the next thing we need to do is actually get the water going, I suppose. I think that would be our next course of action here. I bet I could put water pumps in that. I've never tried, but it looks like that would support water pump. All of this stuff will. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, can we br can we pull water from up here and then like not have to pump it? Let gravity do the work. I'm actually not entirely sure. Maybe. Yo, there's a cave under this waterfall. All right, we have to go explore the cave. What's in the cave? A lot of bacon. Mmm, bacon. Hello? Hello? Uh... Oh, I hear something. Hello? I see a yellow power slug, so that means there's gotta be baddies around here somewhere. Bacon. Well, I heard a baddie earlier, but where'd they go? I don't know. What is that? It's a cassette. But why is it a cassette? E to unlock deep rock galactic boombox tape. I did it. Beacon.
More bacon. There's like nothing, there's no enemies in here. This was actually kind of anticlimactic. Is there anything else in here to be looking at? It looks like there might be another power slug over here, maybe? No, I'm just seeing dust particles. Huh. Alright. Bacon. Work in progress, you're sure? Yeah, maybe. I kind of want to see the river. Oop. I kind of want to see where this river comes from. If we can even see that, I'm not sure if we will be able to. Bacon. Can't get up there. Maybe over here? So there's a lot more water up here too. Big ol' other lake. Beach party time. I see a blue powered slug over there. Uh, needs 20 megawatts. Can I make a do 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 biomass burner? Yes, run the line straight into the water. You know what? I don't have a choice on where that line goes. It just connects automatically. Hard drive. Where am I at? Oh, over here. Aha! New marker. There we go. So there's another pot over here, potentially. I don't know if this is all the same thing or if this is a different one. I guess it's all the same thing. Rude. 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 That's what you get. That's what you get. Anybody else want some? I got plenty to go around. So that's all that there was here. Oh, there's this. I didn't see this. Some, oh. 21 reinforced iron plates. Okay, yeah, there's some resource here. It's not bad. More cables. Okay, I think we have seen it all. Is that quartz? Why is the texture of this like mud? Like what, what happened to this? What is wrong with this texture?
bacon plant or is it a kind of fungi? It's actually a fungus. But it's called like bacon something or other. I assume it's called bacon just because of the color of it. Have I played Subnautica? I have played Subnautica. I didn't play the second one, but I did play the first one. The second one looked like more of the same. With some land parts. So yeah, I never got around to playing the second one though. Um, if we go into the inventory, yeah, this is the stuff. Bacon agaric can be eaten to restore two health segments. Right, so now that we went on that little adventure, we can get back to this stuff. What is the goal of the game? To collect resource, automate stuff, make progression, um, send things up the space elevator, and unlock tiers of progression, I guess. Yeah, that, that's about it. To have fun. It's like, um, what's the goal of Minecraft, for instance? Just build stuff. It's kind of the same idea. Sometimes the level of detail on the resource outcrops gets messed up. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday, too. We had another uh, quartz that looked like that, and I assumed, like, it would just fix itself when I relaunched the game next stream or whatever, but that's not the case. First time catching you live, I watch your YouTube content, especially the Minecraft mod pack vids. Well, welcome, Luminescent Llama. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we need to get this stuff set up. We need to get these things hooked up. So let's do that. We need a total of eight of these guys. We only have five, but we need eight of MC them. MC Leslie 13 gifted a tier one sub to Luminescent Llama. They have given 275 gift subs in the channel. Mm, I think we need to do double wide. How are we going to do this? We want this, that level. I think we want them just barely out of the water, right? I think we want them like that. Uh, MC Leslie, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Thank you. All right, so we want to zoop them, get zooped, get zooped. Get zooped. Okay, so these are what we're going to be building. We need two of these per line. We need a total of... Was it four lines? So I guess I might have gone a little overboard here. But that's fine. Uh, we have room for expansion. Oh, did I build these platforms too low? Hmm. Because the ones we have over there... Let me redo this. The ones we have over there, the um, the nozzle is kind of like touching the platform. Yeah, so we want this height. All right. Undo. Control Z. Control Z. Yeah, 
You always find the way the blocks get thrown by building satisfying. It is very satisfying. I agree. You see all the resources just flying out there to where they're supposed to go. All right, so then we delete these and this row. Oh, that's a mistake. Easily fixable mistake, but a mistake. Sweet. Okay, so now we do this. So these guys just are gonna chill until they turn yellow like that. Like a so and like a so. So how many do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need a total of four lines worth, so I need two more. Minimum. Minimum minimum minimum. And this one. I mean, I guess I could set up four on the one side, four on the other side. We got room for expansion for later. Okay. Can you change the terrain? You cannot. No, the terrain is set. You can build platforms and stuff like that. Uh, but you can't actually change the terrain. So how do we want to do this? We want to put like a junction pipe, I assume. Junction pipes. We want to like get this set up so we can have four of these. I might have made a mistake. We'll find out. Probably the first things we want to do is set these up and then figure out how to connect them into that. So if I have one there, I can have one there, and there, and there. Right? Right. Glad we're all in agreement on that. So there's one and then two. So we want to connect this into this, and I don't know if we're going to be able to do this the way that I want to. We're about to find out. So that connects like that. It does not like that. Oh, a player's in the way. I don't know if we want that or if we want this straight. We'll try straight. And then can I connect a pipe? It, it does not like that. Okay. So... Get rid of this. Try again.
Doesn't like that. It does like that for some weird reason. Beautiful. Beautiful. Send it. I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. This is perfect. It's so beautiful. I mean, I guess we could do this in another way. Um, we can do this in another way. We don't have to do it like what I'm trying to do right here. We could do this. Just kind of like bring the pipe out to where, where did I want it? I think I wanted it right there. Right? Oh, I mean, that's in the right spot, but that's not a 90 degree angle. Maybe if I move this back by one. I'll get rid of all the pipes around here. Yeah, so we do that and then we just bring the pipe across. I don't know how we're going to merge these though. That's the thing. So that's what we got to figure out. We want both of these connected to the same pipe. I don't think I can put... I mean, I could try. I don't think I can put one of these cross pipes on it. Pipe junction? Yeah, it definitely does not like that. Can you place that cross pipe section first and connect the pipe? That's what I was trying to do. This would be really nice if I could just place the pipe cross section directly on the outflow. But I can't do that. If I could just place that right here, then this would be real simple. So we could do this. Problem is, it's taking up space, and I don't like that. Why does it like this? What sense is that even? Why does it like that? Is this because it's not curved? I'm so confused. So if I do this, I do this, I do this. That's technically connected? I... I can't. I can't even. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I got this. I got this. We are gonna do this. I know this... this doesn't make sense and this is not how it's going to be we're doing that and then we're going to put a cross pipe on this they figure out like where we're putting that right and then we get rid of this and then boom problem solved there is a little bit of pipe there, and it is connected technically. And then we should be able to connect... And we should be able to connect this to that. And this to that. But this is no longer straight, so I need to do the same thing to these. Okay, well... We know how to solve this now, so let's uh, let's do it the way we're gonna do the janky workaround thing. So that 
I like how it lines up so I don't even have to see it. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Pipe, boom. Beautiful. That's what we wanted right there. Perfect. What's that? What's wrong with the music? Hello? Yeah, that was weird. Why does the music keep cutting out? Actually, I need this thing. Okay. I need a junction. It's really hard to tell. Is that lined up? Where's my where's my green arrow or my green line? Is that lined up? I hope so. Hashtag close enough. Hashtag close enough. I Man, I guess I could just have it straight across instead of going up like that. That'd actually probably be better. Because then we wouldn't have this, uh... All right, let's redo this. You know what I could do? I could just do all the junctions at the same time by doing it this way. Okay, where are we doing? Where are we doing it? Okay. Junction time. It's junction time. These are going to be the, these guys, like so. Like so. Like a so and like a so. Okay, so I guess I want to get these guys placed here so the pipes don't try and snap to these junctions. I'll probably need these over here as well for the same reason. Oops.
So from there to there. This guy to that guy. This guy to that guy. This one to... What? Hello? This one to that one. That to there. All right, that's all of our pipe. So we are going to overclock the first one, one overclocker, and we want this to be at 180. Well, that's a full, okay, that's fine. Yep. That's at 180, this one will be at 180. This one is at 180. And this one. So 180, 120, that gives us 300. That's the maximum flow per pipe. Actually, no, we didn't want 180. We wanted um, 270. We wanted 270. Yeah. So we can actually bring this down uh, to 150, right? Oh, that's a lot. The search has a calculator built in, usually all tab. I find the calculator, like for quick math is fine, but like if I need to keep track of things, I like having the Windows calculator so I can like do other things. I think we're set now. We just need to get the water hooked up to our inlets. So we have one, two, three. Did I not do the fourth one? One, two, three. Did I not hook up the fourth one? Also, this one's a little weird. That's a little weird too. That's unfortunate. Why won't that connect? What is wrong with that? I guess that's turned too much. But I don't know if that's what's wrong with it. Why won't that connect? Too steep? Maybe. Try again. Pipe has an invalid shape. Yeah, it'll connect like right to here. It's so weird the way this is working. That's going right like that. All right, so where's our other one that I didn't connect?
Because my build mode was set to auto 2D, is that? Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Noodle, horizontal to vertical. Wait, what does horizontal to vertical do? Oh. I didn't know you could do this. Huh. That would actually be really nice that you could put a cross junction on there and have like a perfect 90 degree. I did not know you could do that. I really wish it. I guess I need to be up there to see this properly. What is that even doing? Like, it's, why is it going way off my screen here? just can't see this if I place it there what does that look like garbage what if I line up with this green line for some reason what does that look like better I think we're just gonna go noodle mode though Noodle for the win. Okay. You gotta jump off and go shovel snow off the driveway. Oh no. Stay warm. So wait a second, there are three connections, or four connections. Why did I only count three before? I am so confused. One, two. Three. Where's the fourth one? Oh, is it up here? How do we get up these platforms? It's hid behind a rock. Why can't I press C to crouch? Hello? What is... There's something wrong with the game. I can't press C to crouch. Yeah, so that is up here. Uh, maybe we should just connect this pipe, like, up to this one. Guys, why is my C not working? My letter C works. Oh, now it's working in the game. That was weird. Are my legs stuck in noodle mode? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the game was not registering that I was pressing C, though.
Okay, so we got one water line connected. These other ones, though, yeah, we're going to have to have a little bit of fun here. Probably just had to click on back into the game. Yeah, something like that, I suppose. It was very weird. Um, so this is going to be clipping through all of this stuff until we remove these things. And we'll probably have to come back through here and uh, clean up these water pipes. But... I guess the first one we could actually shorten up. Maybe bring that back to here. Yo, what is up? Pipe is too long. The game is like super laggy when I'm looking at this thing. It does not like that. Okay, so we got two hooked up. I guess we just bring these up kind of in line here. Um, I'll do this. The turn of the pipe is too sharp for the attachment? What? Okay. Sure. You can't believe you're still here from the raid? This is just very interesting? Well, still glad to have you. There's a lot of, like, figuring out what I gotta do here. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> not as interactive in chat as I or with chat as I'd like to be. There's just too much brain power being used at the moment. Now, I'll bring the other pipe up next to this one, too. Oh. Lolicry gifted a tier one sub to Hawk Screamer. They have given 33 gift subs in the channel. Oh, I'm out of copper sheets. No. Okay. So we got to go back to the base. For those of you who came from the raid, you might not have seen the base. So that might be something else interesting for you to check out. Hypertube. What is brain? Brain is what you English more gooder with. Mm-hmm. More gooder er. Mm hmm. We. All right, so we need copper sheets. All 
Oh, yeah, Lolo, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you, Lolo. Sorry, I missed it. There we go. We can put away uh I wish there was like a store what's already in the inventory. There isn't one of those buttons though. Like store like stacks or whatever. If it exists in the inventory, then store it. Anything else in here I need to drop off this yellow power slug. And then we also had quartz, which I think we put over here. Yeah, quartz into this one. Okay, I think we should be good to head back. We were just missing those copper piping. You think there's a mod that adds that feature? It should be a feature. It sucked me in. I like how my uh, my leg things are just floating outside the tube. Right, so we were... Yeah, that's number three and then number four we ran out of piping on. Try and bring that up to about the same spot. So that won't quite connect up here. There you go, so that one's connected. And it's roughly the same spot. And this one just heads all the way over here, but we're clipping through the ground a little bit, so I don't like that. So we'll do this and raise it up. Can't quite reach. Okay, so this pipe isn't very, is pretty ugly because we can't snap it and like make it perfectly aligned or whatever. Just kind of the nature of how these pipes work in this game. But yeah, I mean, we have the new water pumps hooked up, the pipes connected. So now we need to get power connected. And I did one power pull per thing over there. So we'll continue that. Power pull. Power pull. Power pull. I guess you probably want to keep them in line with each other on the other side. Okay. Then we connect the power up.
So these are all connected. Yep, I think that's all connected. Then we just need to connect these together. And connect this to regular power. Sounds are happening. So they should all just turn back off. They just need to fill up the pipes, essentially. And then we need to get the actual pumps to, like, pump up. The turbines look so cool. I agree. They do look cool. Okay, so we need... Where is it? These. Oh, it has a little visual indicator showing you which way that goes. So if I turn this around... Can I not rotate? Scroll up, scroll down? Ah. Aha, so it shows you... That's pumping which way. Okay, I like that. I did not notice that before. Okay, yeah, we got too much stuff going on. So let's get rid of this connection. No. We'll get rid of these. And this one. So I'll just run these two pumps for now and this one head lift. So head lift is a seating recommended level. Does that mean I need a second one? Or does that mean I need a place that's further up? Hey, place it further up? Okay. Wasn't quite sure how these worked. Okay. 
So at this point, I should be able to put coal into here, and we should be able to get the first, or I guess the last six of this row going. Um, how are we doing on power? We're fine. Yeah, I was thinking about that, John. Um, we could do that, but it's fine. How much? How much power do these pumps actually even cost? I don't even know. Like, how much power do they, are they using? It doesn't say how much power they use. The coffee cup has crazy gravity tech. It's great, huh? You never spill it. Yeah, does anybody know how much those um, those pipeline pumps, how much power they consume? I can't imagine it's a whole lot. It's 20 megawatts per? I'm going to Google it. I can't imagine that's that much. That is factory. Uh, pipe. Line pump. According to the wiki, it says it uses four megawatts. So we're using eight megawatts to pump that power right now, which is fine. That's reasonable trade off. Do you think the power varies? Depends on how much uh, of the head left it's doing? Okay. So it might not even be the full 8 that it's doing. But each one of these will be providing 75 megawatts. So, I mean, it's whatever. So the next thing we need to do is get some coal over here. We also need to get the power hooked up from this and connected to our mains, right? These are going to be a little weird because we're kind of clipping a little bit, but it's fine. I fall. I don't like it when I fall. Have I unlocked better power poles yet? I don't think so.
Power to power, power to power, power to power. That's already connected. All of these are connected? Looks like it. Okay, I think we're all set here as far as the power connections. So that needs to be connected to our main. So let's uh, bring this out to here. I don't know how far this is gonna go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I don't need this platform out this big. I was originally gonna like double this up and have a second row out here, but I don't think we're gonna do that. So I should get rid of like all these platforms, these extra ones. So many power poles. Yes, it is a lot. I absolutely agree. Oh, you can just press control once. You don't have to hold control. I didn't realize that. Boop, boop, boop. Have to rebuild our ramp. What is the coffee stuff in your hand? It's just coffee. Everybody who plays Satisfactory has to drink coffee. It's the law. Okay, so now we need to get coal up here, and then the, then we should be able to add more power. So this was the only coal generator that we didn't have doing anything. This is the newly added one. Um, how much how much room do we have up here? Let's let's actually make a ramp, huh? Let's make a ramp. A ramp. So we have room for a stacked belt. Maybe that's the next thing we should do is like hook up the belt chain. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, so... Whoops, what the heck?
Bien. Probably gonna have to redo this. Oh no, I, I probably shouldn't even be making that yet. Um, let's get rid of that for now. So we need the output from this one to connect to this line. I guess we could do a vertical transport from underneath, have this come underneath and then go up and then connect over. It's probably the best way. This needs to be rearranged. So if we want that connected to right there. And that's up the center of this. So I guess before I make this connection, I should figure out how we're going to do that. Yeah, so that'd be coming up here. So I need one of these. Just like that, coming up. Just like that. So now we can connect our belt. And then connect this belt. Yeah, I think that's fine. How we're going to connect the rest of the coal up, I don't know how we're going to do all that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I probably should move this over to before this one. So that needs to be moved over, like, at least two. Yeah, let's redo this. Screwed it up. We'll fix it. That's better. And then we can have one of these coming from down here. Up to there. I don't... Does that connect? It looks like it's connected. I don't know. Let's redo this belt just to make sure. Right. 
Right, so we just need to power this up, and we should have more power online once coal gets over to our generators. Oh, I need to connect that, actually. Okay, so we got coal coming up here. You're back. What did you miss? Anything? Oh, you missed all the things. You missed it all? We are just about to get our uh, new coal generators. At least the last six of them in this line up and running. It's going to take a minute because this one needs to fill up basically and once that fills up then like all the coal will go over this way and then once this one fills up then all the coal will go that way. It's going to be a minute. Before these start like producing a lot. Yeah, we just gotta wait for this one to fill up first, I think. Am I using MK3 belts? No, we're using Mark II. We're only doing 120 per minute. If we were to overclock, we could use the Mark III belts. I'll still need to get the rest of the pumps power for water. Yeah. We have enough water right now for these last six to turn on. And once those turn on, we'll start generating power. And then we'll have enough power to turn on the other six pumps. Or at least two more of them. Then we can get the next six of these up and running, etc. Right? All right, so this one's full. We gotta wait for this one to fill up. I guess I could go steal some coal off these other belts that aren't really moving. Was that all the coal that I had in my inventory? I guess it was.
Yeah, the power's slowly coming online. Would it be possible for me to like steal half the coal in these things? No, let me up. The number should be going up a little bit faster than that, I would have expected. The coffee looks kind of like hot chocolate. I mean, the number is going up, so it's fine. This will eventually back up, then the belt will back up, and then the rest of it will divert over to our next one. I guess our last one. Okay, so we're at 1,275. All of these are online and producing, which is great. So now we can hook up the next water pumps. And these are definitely going to need more head lift as well. Um, I don't know how to get power underneath here. This power pole is like too big. I thought we had like wall connectors too. Can I do a wall connector on the ground? Double wall outlet. Must snap to a wall or similar. Oh, I see. Okay, so this doesn't work on foundation. It actually has to be a wall. 
You can remove the floor and add it there. Hmm. It's clipping through the pipe. Everything is awful. We'll fix all of this once I get rid of these coal generators up above us. Okay, so we need a... This thing. Okay, that looks fun. And this one looks fine. Sweet. All right, let's get another power pole connected over here. I assume this is gonna reach maximum just the same. Oh, these pipes aren't even, or this pump isn't even connected, so this doesn't matter. Okay, we'll come back to this one. All right, so we have the next six of these done. So we should have all eight of our coals going. Yep, we have eight coals going. Uh, there's no power line over here for me to check to see our power. Okay, we're at 1425. You're very immersed though. <laughs> Very immersive. I fall. Okay, so now we need to get another coal hooked up over here. Ooh. I assume this one is going to be the next one to connect right there. There should be enough coal on this belt to last for a while. Plus the coal generators have a lot of coal in them. So I think we have enough time to like disassemble, flip it around, get all the logistics going and then get this up and running before we have to worry about running low on power. And that just needs to come over here somewhere. Right there would probably be fine. Okay. 
Um. So somehow we need it up here on this platform. I guess we can move this lower. We do this. That, like this we need we need the elevator lift I think that's it. I mean, we technically could just have one lift going up to here. Maybe, maybe that's a way to do it. Is that on the right spot? No, it's not. That's still not in the right spot. It is so hard to try and figure out like center. I think that's center right there. So is this off center? There's something weird here. I don't like it. Oh, it's because these aren't centered on the platform. That's why. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. These aren't centered on the platform. That looks right. We get rid of that. Get rid of that. From there to there. Means we get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of that. And this one. There. Okay, so now we just give this power and we should be good to go. I'm just going to assume everything's going to work correctly over there. I'm not even going to bother checking to make sure it's working correctly. Are there foundation openings for vertical belts? Uh, I know there's things that you can get to improve. We haven't actually explored all that yet because we don't have it unlocked. But I don't know what all you can unlock either.
Okay. So we still have all of our original power going, and it'll be going for a little while. Because of all the fuel that's on that belt still. Did I not hook up the pumps? I feel like we should be seeing something happening by now. It's going... One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we got water here. I guess we're just waiting for these things to just fill up. Hi, Mr. Trampoline. Boink. Boink. You're back. What did you miss? Everything. Literally everything. I guess they could hook up pipe number three and then we would have like four more power plants going. Let's go get pump number three up and running. Or pipe number three. I mean, I guess at this point we should be good to connect all this up and have the extra power. We should be fine. Oh, is it a blood moon? The blood moon rises. Is that facing the wrong way? I don't know how that got facing the wrong way. Okay, so how's our power production now? 1800? Be careful not to cut your pipes with that. Yeah, that'd be unfortunate.
And then I guess we could get the, um... The final set of these going. Is it not doing any head lift because the pipes are not being used? Oh, now it's going. But I'm so confused with your conversation. That's right, chat confuses me a lot. Chat's a little confusing sometimes. 2025! Our power is gonna drop once the coal that was going along that one belt runs out. And it looks like it's run out. There's no more on the belt, so these are gonna be decommissioned. I can finish cleaning this up then. Real water pipes with high volumes are incredibly loud from the turbulence. Just gotta make your pipes laminar flow, and then they won't be so noisy. Get rid of all the turbulent. Alright, so we have one more coal generator that we need to get hooked up over here. So I guess we should hook up the next belt the next lift thing which would be coming off from over here somewhere It is really hard for me to see from down here. So this is in line with this line here. Okay, so that'd be that line there. This looks right. But what, how high do we go? That's the question right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. So 
So now we just need, oh, this is kind of clipping a little bit. That's unfortunate. Can I do like a two meter one here just so it looks a little less weird? Uh, we'll do that. That belt is not the same height? What are you talking about? That is perfectly level. Isn't it? It is a little high, isn't it? No. No, that belt is level. What are you talking about? The belt is level. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So now we need to get one of these other cold gens pumping over here. Camera angle makes it look off. They are all off because you didn't use a splitter? What are you talking about? This should be a ramp. We want to kind of, oh, not that much. We'll bring that to right there, and then this should be able to do 90 degree angle right over into it when we get that hooked up. So we have water connected to everything. We should be good to go, I do believe. Yeah, I think we are actually just ready to get this connected. We don't have to wait. I think that's literally all we have to do. So what is this thing? Is this a Mark 1? No. So why is this thing like stalling? That's a Mark One belt right here. Aha! 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 Okay.
There we go. There we go. How do you never spill a drop of coffee? Very steady hands. Very steady hands. All right, we can start disassembling this stuff over here. These are still running for now. Why? This belt looks like we have a Mark I somewhere along it. We do. Oh, you know why? Because originally these were the tier one miners, which were only producing 60 per minute. And then we upgraded these to the tier two and I never upgraded the belts because it didn't matter at the time. I mean, technically it still doesn't matter because we're just going to be disassembling everything. Can I show the new piping for the coal gens? You want, like, from where the water pumps are, or the actual piping? These are all shut down, so we can get rid of these. The actual piping upstairs? Okay. Yeah, I guess until this coal finally runs out or I decide to turn these other ones off. I guess really I want to see all the smokestacks going before we uh, completely turn off these other ones. We're almost there. Just got to wait for that coal to finish filling up all of these guys. And then we can finally clean up all of these random platforms and stuff around here. Uh, so the new piping... That's what it's looking like. We have six connected to each pipe, each main pipe. We have two pumps connected to each pipe. And we have one pump overclocked, so we are producing a total of 300, or I'm sorry, 270 per pipe. Yeah, so we have one overclocked 25%, one normal, which produces 270 through each one of these pipe connections, and that splits into six different cold gens. Yep, so this is what we're looking like right now. And if we add more, we'll have six more down here.
So that one's still filling up. I don't think I have any more coal in my inventory. I should grab some from down here and, like, help fill these up. There is the one that isn't running in section three. Um, yes. These are the ones we just hooked up. So they're getting fuel last. So they run for a little bit and then turn off. So the way this is working is all the fuel comes up here, goes to the first splitter. The, the first cold gen gets 50% of the fuel and then the other 50% comes over here. The second cold gen gets 50% of that. And the other 50% comes over here. Eventually what happens is this one fills up full of coal and then the belt backs up and then 100% of it comes over here and then so on and so forth. So basically the way this is set up, the uh, the very last one's going to take a while before it gets its 15 fuel per minute that it needs, but it will eventually get it. Yeah, once these other inventories back up, it will get its required fuel. It just takes a little bit of time. There are ways around it. You could properly split. You could use a bunch of splitters and like try and figure out a way to like get them all to feed exactly the same from the belt. So we're not doing it the way that I'm doing it here. You could do that, but it's messier. I think later on you get smart splitters. So you can say, hey, only send 15 a minute down one path and send the rest down the other path, and that would be the most ideal way, but we don't have that unlocked yet. Yeah, so each miner goes to a group of eight cold gens, and the pipes connect to six. So we have four pipes for all 24, and then we have three miners for all 24. It's a little weird the way that math is, but it's just the way the numbers work. I could have put the first splitter in the middle and it would have helped for the initial startup, but once everything backs up, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. We all... Why are we not getting smoke out of these? Is it just too many particles? Or is something wrong here? Oh, something's wrong here. Okay. So what's going on with this last pipe? What's happening here? I don't understand. One of the pumps is not online?
Oh, this is the last one. Oh, I never connected the power to it. There we go. Okay, but if that's the case, why are these last ones down here having weird flow rate things? Do we always have a set of one of these, like, not full? Okay. I guess that's not to be concerned with. The fact that that wasn't connected to power, that was the big problem. Now we should be set. Just gotta wait for these to like fill completely. Now I'm almost wondering if I should bump those water things all the way up to 300 instead of 270. All right, this one's expanding a little bit. Is the next one over expanding at all? Yeah, I think I'm gonna bump those up to 300, even though we're not gonna be using it. It'll help fill those gens. And this was the overclocked one anyway. We'll just bump this up. It's weird how this needle, like, it doesn't seem very smooth. It feels like it's five FPS kind of a thing. Yeah, once they're fully pressurized, that's why I overclocked this more so we could get that extra flow through there. Uh, now that I've done that, let's just one more time take a look at these that looks fine and that looks fine Yeah, we're slowly gaining now. Okay. Everything's good. That's one of the reasons why I didn't want to tear down all of these old generators to begin with, was just to make sure everything was working correctly. All of our smokestacks are smoking. Smoking.
Yeah, I think we're good now. I think we're good now. Uh, I feel pretty confident that we could shut down these over here. How are we doing on power before I do that? So we're up to 2350. If I turn these off, that'll bring us down to around 1700, I think. But we won't be consuming as much because the pumps associated with these would also be turned off and removed. So we have 2400 megawatts. We're consuming 800. Why does our production keep going up and down? Oh, these are probably getting starved because I took some coal out of these earlier, yeah? That's probably what's going on. Yeah. These guys are being starved because I took out fuel earlier. Oh, Mr. Nightmare redeemed a gift sub. Yep, I didn't see that. Okay. Uh, one second here. There you go. Hypnotized just gifted one subs. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Mr. Nightmare, for redeeming your gift a free sub. Yeah, I think. I think we just turn these off. I think we just do it. If I don't do it now, I'm going to like procrastinate and not do it. Let's just do it. I don't want those there anymore. I want them all up on the same level that we currently have them at. You better back up. Lizard doggo. Those birds are getting out of control, I know. They're weird. Okay, so we have one unused miner. So this power over here, how are we doing stuff? I feel like, I feel like I want to disconnect this over here and bring power from back behind to connect to this. Let's get that sorted so I can get rid of all these extraneous power line connection things that we have. And that'd be along this one. Hmm. I guess, whoa, whoa. I guess this one would be the one, since the power line would kind of go straight through the middle here. Yep. Alright, so that's a power connection to our mains power. And then we should connect that... From here to here.
Oh, we still need power connection over there, don't we? Uh, yeah, let's... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. i be redoing this. Come on. Put a power pole up there. Just right there. Power. I just want a power pole. Oh my goodness. There to there. Okay, so we are going to get rid of this and that, that to there, that to there. We get rid of this. These, this stuff, don't need that anymore. Okay. So as far as all of this goes, I don't think this was needed anymore. At least I hope it wasn't needed anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we need to connect from that over here to our main base power. We'll have to figure that out. How is this one connected? So this goes all the way over here. And that connects to all this junk. Hmm. Man, this is a long stream? What are you talking about? We've only been live for like three hours. What are you talking about? Yeah, that seems fine. Three hours is a long time for you? Well, I mean, if you got something to do, go do it. Don't let me hold you up. Otherwise, you can chill and just hang out. I think we'll just have a power pole here. Oh, and that connects all the way through. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect. Altered Card Hunters just resubscribed for three months. Apparently I just did some finger guns. It's like I planned it. It's like that, but I didn't. Alt Art Card Hunters, welcome back. Thank you for the three month resub. Floaty power cable of floatiness. Uh, so these are all turned off. The power goes from... Okay, so let's put a power pole right here in this corner. We'll get rid of you. You go to you. You go to you. You go to you for right now. A little dip in our power, but it's fine. Everything's back online. Uh, yeah, we can just disassemble all of this stuff at this point. Oh, my inventory's full. No, floaty box up there. What's in my inventory that I can get rid of? We don't need this. I really don't need this extra coal. Uh, let me get rid of that too. Is that the time when the whole thing is vein mined? Do I want bigger inventory space? Uh, sure. Hasn't really been a problem. I got a lot of stuff in my inventory right now from like purposely putting stuff in there for building. Ah, I can't quite reach it. I really should go take care of my inventory. Or we could just... Actually, you know what? I have a storage box over here that I set up. We could just dump some of these things out for now. Uh, probably don't need this stuff on me. Okay, we should be good. What is this connected to? Oh, down there? Um... I 
I'm afraid of disconnecting things that I don't know what they're all connected to, but I guess there's only one way to find out. All the pumps are still going, so that's fine. This I kind of want... I, mean, I guess I can just leave those there for now and just get rid of these platforms. Did I just hear something shut down? I see yellow, I see white. Is that good? Is that bad? I'm not sure. I think everything's fine. Looking good for day eight? Hey, thanks. All this stuff needs to get destroyed. So we got some floaty power poles here. This one doesn't need to be. This goes to our main base. So this connection is kind of important, but I think if I get rid of these, I can connect that all the way over to this one. No problem. Oh, I didn't connect that. Wire too long. All right, we fix. Slight drop in power usage. It's fine. Just a small little brownout. Our power company does it to us all the time. It's fine. Everything's fine. This I don't like. Wire too long. All right, so this... We're going to figure this out. I'm going to have a floaty power pole here for a little bit. Guys, I've been mined the base. How am I overlapping clearance? I wish this green line would get out of my face.
So if I deleted that, do I have a power shard in my inventory? I do. Okay. So power shard goes into this. We'll just bump this all the way up. Yep. <sighs> that happened. We won't talk about that. If you have one of the pumps snapped to a foundation, you try and you can build underwater, you can snap the rest of the pumps to it. What you talking about, Hypno? We saw nothing. Nah, it's fine. I'm not gonna, like, redo these pumps. Just put the outlet centered between these two things. Like, every fourth platform or whatever. So they're not interfering with each other. It's fine. Not a big deal. All right, power's gonna fluctuate for a little while. You know what? I am just gonna go ahead and just bump these all the way up, even though we're not using all that flow. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay. Everything should be happy again. Might take a little bit of time for him to become happy, but things should become happy again. Uh, so this... I assume... Let's do that. That's really ugly as hell. I should have it connected to this one instead. Oh, I can't connect more lines. Can I connect to this one? We'll do that instead. Twenty-five megawatts becomes thirty-nine, no big deal. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Are you worried about it? You seem a little worried about it. Don't be worried about it. Is this one just waiting for more water? Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta wait for these things to fill back up. Stop worrying about us worrying? That's really worrying for you to say that. I'm a little worried, actually. Alright, so I should be able to get rid of this. And those. I think these are the last of the extra platforms to get rid of. I fall. Okay, so we still have one unused coal gem. Or a uh, coal miner. So we could add in additional. We need 
We would need eight more of these. And then we will need... Well, to keep our same thing, we would need four more water pumps. We would just have, like, some unused. Oh, I'm not set to zoop. Zoop. Is that more water under here? What am I looking at? Or is that a cave? I mean, that's a cave. What is that over here? Let's take a look. Oh. It's a poison area. With bacon! It is a cave. That. There we go. All right, so we have one, two, Three, four, five. I right, clear trees. Sometimes better just to place one more at underclock than it is to overclock. I hear you. That was five? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. How many cold gems do I have now? 24 up and running. With these eight that I just placed down, we'd have 32. No, we need... Did we go with four clicks or three clicks? Dang it, I can't remember now. I think it was right when it switched from six to eight is where we went. Okay, so our other coal would be right here. So we'd probably want the input to be somewhere around here instead of like all the way down there. That way we can like do a double belt over here and just kind of like split off. I think that's fine. Uh, all right, so we will do our first splitter yeah, from here, and then these. Okay, need the belts. These are gonna be marked two belts, whoops.
Why? Oh, I'm out. Really? Oh, Riri. I know in the past they had changed, or I, in maybe this last update, they had changed it so overclocking was no longer exponential, it was linear. So while it does use more power to overclock, I'm not sure it uses quite as much as it did before. They did change that, but it also changed it back to exponential. Okay, so they, they removed the exponential, then they re-added it? Is that what's going on? I see. I didn't hear that part. You use your water pumps at about 80% so they do not cost that much? What, do you put three per pipe then? You do, okay. So there's two, three, four, Six, and then these two connect together. That was really weird. It looked like the pipe was twisting right there in the center as I was placing it. Hopefully that's not the case. The only things you overclock are the miners. I see. Yeah, I did that same thing again. It had like a little twist. I guess it's fine. 
I guess it's fine. Okay, so we need to hook up the coal, the last coal to this, and then we need to actually get the water pipes hooked up to these. So we could get the coal going now so the miners just fill up full of fuel and the belts back up while we're working on the water. I think that's probably the best, best way to handle this. Nope, this one. Too low. Now that's off centered. I can't go to the right click that I want to, the correct click. I think that was even off-centered again, anyway. Yeah, we need to be right here. But it's snapping to that belt, and I can't move it up one more click. Stupid belt. Can I, like, get up here and see maybe... That looks like the right height. That looks low. That looks high. That one. That one. That looks straight to me. Okay. Let's upgrade that to a tier 2 belt, though. Stackable conveyor poles. I fall. So we want this to be this one. I don't know why it's turning yellow like it's clipping, but it shouldn't be clipping. This is like how you do it. Okay, so now we got to get this down. I think we're like that is how you do it as a perfect 90. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna bring this down. Uh huh. Oh, this actually needs to not be like that. Okay. 
Okay, I think we're good now. Sweet. So we're producing a solid 1800 megawatts right now. We're consuming around 700. So we got like an 1100 megawatt buffer, which is awesome to be working with. Uh, so we still need to hook up four water pumps and bring the water over here and get that hooked up. And then we will have eight times 75 more megawatts online. Have you seen there's a wall floor attachment for pipes and belts? There's a nice to place pipe belt where you want them. I saw that you can do pipes vertically and then they will attach to the floor, but I haven't really experimented with it much. I fall. I want to get up there. There we go. Oh, you're talking about items from the the ma'am ticket shop thing? You know, I only made this platform big enough for the four pipes, and now we have more pipes. I feel like... I feel like we should not continue to add more out here and get rid of those extra platforms and just make another... Thing. Uh, we do have stackable. Huh? Do we have stackable? We do have stackable pipelines. I guess we could. Pipeline floor hole. Does that go through even like the big foundations? I didn't even realize I had those. So if we do that, we could clean up the way the um, the pipes look up here. For all sides of foundations. Do you, oh, okay. Yeah, we will uh, rearrange some stuff then. Oh, that's a wall hole. Can I do like right here? Okay. Okay.
I can't jump up there. Oh. Oh, this isn't even hooked up over here. I was like, where did the rest of my pipe go? I'm like super confused. Yeah, so that hasn't even been hooked up yet. So I guess I don't need those, we just gotta look for these things. Oh, didn't quite make it. Here we go. Even cleaner be move all those pipes to underground the foundation and then just one pipe up top. Oh, you're talking about like doing all the splitting underneath and just have this go down to a floor hole. I don't know. I kind of like the industrial look of this, but yeah, it would be cleaner and get rid of a lot of the floor space. Might think about that for the future. Maybe when I start working on oil and we move off this, we'll uh, redesign that. Be a little bit more cleaner. Yeah, probably when I move to oil. I mean, we just won't talk about how that clips through the ground like that. We just won't talk about that. In fact, we'll never even look at that again. Look how clean it looks up here now. It's amazing. You saw nothing. That's right, you didn't see anything because there's nothing to see. All, right, all the coal is backed up here, so that's great. Oh. You definitely saw it? Saw what? You didn't see anything. There's nothing to see. Uh, these.
I don't know if the pipe will go over there like this. Like, is that long enough? Or short enough distance? Yeah, okay. Works for me. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I've been getting a hankering to play a Dark Souls game. I don't know when we're going to do it, but... I've almost been wanting to play through the entire Dark Souls series. Again. But I might play one game and be like, nah, forget that. <laughs> we might get to that point. I don't know. Eh, I should have one more. Okay, okay, you just forgot what you saw. That's right, you did. Um... I'm thinking for these upper pipes... What if we did this? And then I had the cross beam up here and then we go out and then into the cross beam from underneath. Will that work? Let's find out if that's a viable thing to do. Like... It kind of goes down a little bit and up, and it looks a little weird. Maybe if I had that turned at an angle, it'd be better, but I think we're going to leave it straight up and down. I think we're going to leave it like this. Try a different build mode, man. It will increase the looks of your pipes. What build mode am I even on? Noodle? I like noodle. How will this, how will this increase the look of my pipes? Hold on a second. How does that help? How does that help? How? This literally does nothing. It's the same. Yeah, and let's not talk about the way my pipes look, actually. It's a little rude. Okay? I don't like how this is intersecting, though. We're going to move this over here.
Should we really be looking that closely at having those pipes? Seems a bit private to you. Nice pipes you got there. Um, I guess this is the next closest one. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. So now we just need to like bring those over here and kind of like feed them up the same way. Uh, I'm gonna need another one of these stackable poles. Close enough. Actually, I should connect to this one first. Okay. So now we just kind of YOLO free form these up here. YOLO. Did the streamer just say YOLO? Who's who says YOLO anymore? He must be like really old. Oh, that one's turned a bit much, but I guess it's fine. YOLO then dab. I have never once dabbed. I have always felt that dabbing is like the Dumbest thing ever. I guess we'll like stop these at about the same point here. Have I ever Superman? I don't even know what that is. That's how old I am. What's a super? How, how do you Superman? Teach me. Teach me the ways. So what do I do? Just bring those underneath this pipe? Yeah, I feel like we just bring those underneath that pipe and just kind of like go along this sandy path here. The Superman came before the dab. can't tell. Looks pretty close. Oh.
We're just not going to look at these pipes. I hate the fluid pipes. When you're not doing them on foundations, they're just free for them everywhere and they get all wiggly and stuff. I don't appreciate it. It was around before TikTok, so it never got popular. How do I make this go the other way? Oh. Screw wheel. Why does clicking it not just place it? Why does it like show that? It's weird. It's like it's trying to zoop it or something, but there's nothing it can't zoop. Oh, it was showing where the next one goes? Oh. I'm just going to assume we need to put some over here, so I'm just going to put some over here. Where is it showing where the next one goes? Do I have to just come down here and see? Okay, so we got the pipelines, we got the pumps, we got the power. We need to get those online. We didn't power these yet. Oh, I didn't. I need to get two overclockers. Two power shards. Boop. This is going really slow. I feel like this went faster before. Why is this going so slow now? I know it goes slower going uphill, but it feels like it was going faster previously uphill. Uh, we need two shards. We have one. How much does a yellow slug turn into? Two of them. All right, 
So we needed. Uh, hello, Sargis. Alright, we need to be over here and put in two power shards, one for each of these lines. Alright, now we should be good. It says we're only making 1800 megawatts. Are we not? Is that water not reaching? We're doing 10 meter ahead lift here. And then we're doing a 12.5 meter. It looks like we have water over here. So what's going on? Whereas 1800, how much we should be making? I'm actually not sure now. These aren't on, why? No, oh, I didn't hook up the power in the back, of course. Of course I didn't. Still need to connect one more. Two more. There we go. Now we're up to 2400 megawatts. Looks so odd when the Blade Runners take out of the hyper tunnel. I agree. They should fix that. My immersion has been ruined. Hey Lolo, we'll catch you later. Thanks for hanging out. We are about to wrap the stream up as well here. My goodness. 32 coal generators. 32 coal generators is what we got. It looks amazing. No, feel free. To just walk on my stuff. Feel free. I guess we could pick up this box. We got a lot of stuff to dig back and forth. Um... that
Okay, let's go drop off our inventory. The Jennies are looking pretty nice. I think so as well. Except for those two at the end. What's up with those two at the end? Are we too far away? Oh, I think we're just too far away. Two point four gigawatts or gigawatts. That was a lot of brain power used today. Glad it was your brain and not mine. <laughs> There's probably even a better way that we could have set that up. A nicer way. But I haven't played this game, like, enough to know, like, the best ways to hook things up. I can figure out a nice way, an efficient way to get them together, but, like, as far as, like, aesthetic-wise, that's something I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, I wanted to drop some of this stuff off. All right, so we have this hard drive. Where did the hard drive go? Right here. Gonna take 10 minutes. So wood? Uh, reinforced iron plates. I assume those are all filled up over here by now. Rotors we can put away. Why? Do that and that. Yeah, that's weird. There's always a nicer way. Some people spend all stream on a single detail and it's snooze city. Yeah. That's one thing I don't want to do. Like, I want to make things look nice, but I don't want to spend forever on every single detail. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of these now. I almost feel like we should just delete the stuff in my inventory at this point. All of those can go in there. Yeah, I might want to keep one stack. Steel beams. Oh, that would have been over on the other side. We might be full up on steel beams, actually, because we're full up on these, so we're not really using any. We are full up. I guess we'll just leave that in my inventory. These copper sheets, I think we can just get rid of those. Uh, I don't need that many iron plates. Why are we using a whole bunch of these things now? I don't know. I think we're good as far as like stuff in my image. Well, I guess. Hold on. A second. Hold on. I get back into here. We had deleted a couple stacks of these. I don't really need all this cable. Then we have like one animal part we could put away too. Can I finish the. Uh space objective now we have enough power to finish but we can't finish at this moment we will be able to do it i could grab 500 of these things though So we have two check marks complete. So it's just a hundred of those, whatever those are. What is what? What even are those? Hello. Automated wiring. Yeah, we haven't started making stators yet.
So that's an assembler. How do you make a stator? Pipes and copper. So we're going to have to get another copper node and start making wiring so we can combine those together over here. I think there is a copper node somewhere nearby. So right now, our steel pipe is over here somewhere. Right here. Right. So where's the closest copper node to this? Just out of curiosity. So we have some unused copper nodes over here. We'll probably grab those, set up a smelting operation, belt this stuff over, and then connect it up over here, I think. Unless we have some extra copper from that pure node, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to figure that out on our next stream. But for now, I think we are good for today. We got a lot of stuff happening. We have plenty of power. For the future. For the foreseeable future. It won't be enough for forever. And we're going to go ahead and save it up, guys. Save. And that's it for today. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today while we played some Satisfactory. If you're new to the channel, hit the follow button so you get notified when I go live. We will be back on Friday. Yeah, we'll be back on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully making the last of that uh, space station thing. Making those staters. Getting some copper. And then working on whatever we unlock when we unlock the next tier. Probably oil, I would say, is the next thing. But anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.